Let's talk about division of monomials, page 30 and 31. And uh, yeah, division of monomials. In the directions, it says the first step, really, you divide the coefficients. So you look at the two numbers out front. Go ahead and divide them. Be careful about your rule for positive and negative numbers. Secondly, divide the variables, and we do that by subtracting the top minus the bottom. Let's take an example here. 63, y squared, z to the third. Notice how I do a cursive z. If I try to draw a z, like that, it tends to look like a 2 and gets confusing. So I try to get in the habit of drawing my Z's like a cursive Z. So the first step is we're going to take 63 and divide by negative 7. Now remember, if we have a positive divided by a negative, the answer is always negative. If the signs are different, the answer is negative. That's for division. So I know this will be negative 9. I have a Y on the top and a Y on the bottom. So we're going to take the numerator and subtract this exponent here. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So we could write y to the 1, or we could just leave it as y. Okay, I think I'll just leave it as a y. And then here, we'll take 3 minus 2, okay, and get 1, so z to the 1 power. That was easy, we're done. Let's do this one. 16 divided by negative 4. I'll let you write that answer down. Now let's think about this here. A divided by A. I'm going to do this off to the side here because I want to illustrate this. A over A. What is anything divided by itself? What is 5 divided by 5? What is 7 divided by 7? It's always 1, isn't it? Okay. Now let's see what happens here. Thinking about the exponents, if this exponent is 1 and this is 1, then when I subtract, this becomes a to the 1 minus 1, which becomes a to the 0 power. Huh. So we have a rule in algebra that says that anytime we have a non-zero base, any, any base, no matter what it is, it could be a number raised to the zero power. It could be a letter raised to the zero power. Anything raised to the zero power equals the number one. Okay? So another way of thinking about that in this case is to think, okay, this A over this A becomes one. It just cancels out. All right? Oh, look, we have the same thing here. B squared over B squared because the two minus two becomes zero. B to the zero power. Anything to the zero power is one. So it's like that cancels out. It just becomes, you know, one over one, one over one. So, so far we have 16 times one times one. And now let's do this subtraction. So three subtract one. And now we have a variable here. So we have a number, a coefficient out front. And these canceled out. And now we have this variable here. Okay? I'll let you finish that because that's actually one from your homework. Let's look at this one. The same thing kind of happens here. The 7 over the 7. Okay? 7 over 7 becomes 1. So that's going to cancel out. <clears throat> I can subtract this exponent, 2 minus 1. Here, the b on the top, b on the bottom, 1 minus 1 becomes b to the 0. So really that just cancels out. And then I can subtract 3 minus 1. All right. So again, another one from your homework, so I'm not going to do it for you. But we talked about it. Why don't you finish that one and then try to do the rest on the page and score your work.